I have to do the intro out here because I keep taking the piss out of my accent. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today I've got some unhired help. Hello. 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 Hello everybody. Hello everybody. We have the Fishman team here helping me cause chaos basically. So plan number one was to have that rack built again, so we've got two of them to fit there. And it does fit, doesn't it? It does fit, but the poor Big Doug construction means that it doesn't actually fit in the space. So we're, what, a centimetre out, we think? Yeah. So we're now constructing plan B. I'm not quite sure what plan B is yet, but we've started moving fish and moving tanks. So we're going to get this tank, this rack out of the way first, and that's going to go along this wall which means original plan A of having mega tank here somewhere might be back in action, but we don't know. So let's have a bit of a time lapse and see where we end up. So basically this involved a lot of draining water from tanks, moving tanks to the other side of the room just to free up space so we can move the fish across. So drain one tank, fill up another tank somewhere else. That would let us break down the rack and all the tanks that were on one side just to give us some space to get the other tanks in it was a bit of a chore this was really heavy so this is where i really appreciate these guys being over here to help me if you notice in the time lapse i mostly stood around pointing at things rather than actually getting involved in any way but we quickly got into a bit of a rhythm we got things moved across we didn't have any problems with any of the fish everything seemed to go quite well um, it looks like a small space, but there was enough space to move around, but it's just basically moving tanks backwards and forwards, and backwards and forwards, etc, etc. And with Courtney sweeping up after us all the time. Nope. So, we've made some progress. We've got the four foot tank is now, four foot rack rather, is now over there. Six foot rack over there, a six foot rack over there. That one is coming here where Courtney and Baby are. And then that's going to be a big void, which we're not quite sure what we're going to do yet. But mostly, it doesn't look like much, but a huge amount of work has been done. Very little of it by me. More of the same here really, we had a lot of tanks to move, we had to move them with water because a lot of the tanks were discus tanks and fish that wouldn't appreciate cold water. So we were trying to not not do too big water changes with too cold water and upset the fish. Luckily we didn't have any problems with any of the fish, everything moved over quite happily. It's just a bit of a, a bit of a chore for us, but coming along nicely. He asked them to come and help and they spend all day playing golf wrong. Every mind that we have sold this ice don't break. I have, everyone. <laughs> I have fed them. My wife has been too efficient and cleared away the table. Honest, I did I did feed them. Although Reese is claiming to Go back and have bangers and mash, was it? Yes, I'm having more food when I get home. Right, I'll take you and show you the fish room and show you all the progress. Well, as you can see, it's a little bit different in here now. I, I, I do have a cat, but I'm not going to, but I could swing a cat. I've got loads of space now and I've got more racks, which is a bit unbelievable, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's a bit in disarray at the moment, so we've still got wires dangling that need to be tied away and things like that. But the main bulk of the work is done. So let me grab the camera, I'll swing it around and show you what we've done. So as you walk into the fish room, we've got the wall with the lovely floor on it. But we've got my small four foot rack on this wall and just loads of space over there. So unfortunately we couldn't fit the two six foot racks. We were like one centimeter out and we couldn't get, quite get them in. We've got this rack here at the moment. We've got Humphrey in this one and the angels down here. Humphrey, as ever, nice and friendly, not trying to eat me at all. Uh, above that, what was the Tetra tanks? Still there, I've still got some filling up to do. But you might notice one thing, the water level. 
was on a slight incline. That's because this was a garage, so the garage floor is a bit uneven, so we need to prop this side up a bit and sort that out, and then another set of tanks up top. So, not entirely sure what we're doing, but I was kind of thinking of making this like the, the shrimp factory, if you like, having these all, all smaller tanks, all the shrimp tanks, and maybe some fry tanks, that kind of thing. Uh, Humphrey will eventually move out of this tank into this bigger tank which currently houses the discus so that takes me over to this side this is the six foot rack at the moment we've got some new fish in there which we'll talk about later we'll give you a sneak peek there'll be a new video about them so make sure you subscribe we've got the six foot rack loads of space for tanks on there and right next to it another six foot rack which has just got a lot of junk on it at the moment but again space for more tanks over on this wall, we've got what used to be in my old house, the office tank. Not quite sure what we're going to do with that. I'm thinking of using this as the subscriber tank. It's quite a big tank. And we're going to start running a series of polls and tier lists where you get to decide what fish I get to keep. And it won't just be keeping the fish, it'll be me researching the fish if I don't know anything about it, making sure it doesn't have to be this tank, it could be any tank. Researching the fish, finding out about its requirements, ultimately getting, sourcing the fish and getting the fish, setting up the tank for it. I think that might make for a, a fun little series. Um, so join me on Friday nights at nine o'clock and join me on Discord where you can choose what fish we're going to assess and see whether we want to keep them. And then it's just space, loads of space. So this could be the area for mega tank. I'm also considering whether to have maybe another one or two racks poking out this way, similar to this one and having them just as loads of racks, but I do really like the idea of a, a mega tank, uh, like a, a plywood tank, something along those lines. Still not sure, so let me know in the comments what you think I should do here. Um, but yeah, it's just the amount of space is just ridiculous. I love it, absolutely love it. So one of the old tanks has moved over there that's just going to have household stuff on it. This tank I'll probably scooch over a little bit this way, and then we'll build another wall here, or a thermal curtain or something, which will meet up with this wall, sort of. That's the idea anyway. And then, this will be the fish room. The general plan for these bigger racks is basically to have, similar to how they're sort of set up at the moment, so these tanks here are 70 centimetres by 30 centimetres, I think, so we can get a bunch of them on this shelf planning to do similar on that size and then some bigger tanks down below like this discus tank uh, where we can keep things that require a bit more space and um, so quite the quite the scope for a lot of stuff the top shelves will just be for fishy storage and things like that the bottom shelves similarly I've got loads of these big big black boxes wambam boxes these are really good so these have got all my rocks my woods any extra substrate all that kind of stuff got loads of them loads of space in there to keep all that kind of stuff this is the temporary water station so wastewater will go in there and eventually feed either up out there or some other solution where i get rid of it out the front but yeah super happy we've basically got everything to the point where all filtration is back in all heating is back in all electrics are ready but there are just kind of wires everywhere and there's lots of sorting out to do but that's the kind of stuff i can do hopefully i am on the mend so this shouldn't be a problem in the next few videos you should see a lot more refining and cleaning let's call it that anyway so i'm absolutely indebted to the guys at fishman aquatics they came over we had reese callum and courtney were over with baby ruby as well they did the majority of this work if you saw the time lapse <laughs> Um, I just needed the help. I'm basically disabled. I can't really lift anything too heavy. I'm in bits after the little bit that I did do, but I really needed it and I really appreciate it because it's got me to a stage now where the foundations are in, the racks are all built, the tanks have been moved to roughly where they need to be. I can now start getting more tanks, filling the tanks that I've got and getting more fish. So I'll definitely be going over to Fishman Aquatics. Go and check out their Facebook page and their channel because they've got lots of really interesting stock as well. So hopefully we'll get some of those. If you've any ideas of what you'd like to see me keep here, by all means, drop me a comment. Let me know below what you'd like to see. But they've got some really interesting stuff at the moment, which 
I'll do another shop tour, I'll go over and have a look at some of that in the near future. If you could help me show my appreciation, you can help by going over and checking out their Facebook page, dropping a like, clicking all the clickable things, all that good stuff. It really does help out and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with this. It's, I've, I've never had this much space in a fish room where I can just wander about. I could dance, but I'm not going to. It's great, isn't it? As always, thank you for joining me. If you wouldn't mind, click that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Give the video a like. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. And join me in the Friday night live stream. And I think that'll do it for today. Thank you. Bye.